Hi, my name is Jeremy Rodas, and today we're going to be setting up our hot folders. Now, in order to set up the hot folders, we're going to want to make sure that our color gate is completely installed. Once that's done, we'll head over to our program. We're going to hit printer. We're going to head over to properties and we'll start off on our hot folders section. Now you won't see as many options as me. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these for now and we'll start from scratch. Now, in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and add a new hot folder. We'll go automatically to our production server folders and we'll be in our hot DIR, a hot directory. So I'm going to go ahead and create two more folders. We have one for black already. I'm going to create one for color. Now we do this because when we print and we choose a black or a white garment, our program will automatically select that color and knock it out of our image. So if we're printing on a black garment, it'll knock out black so we don't waste black ink. When we're printing on white, it'll knock out white out of our image to save on white ink. We create a third option, color, so that when we print, we have both the presence of the white and the black at the same time. From here, we're going to be able to jump right into the settings. Under workflow, we're going to be able to choose whether we want our program to rip while we print. If we want the program to rip directly after dropping the image into color gate, or if we want the program to automatically print that image once we drop it into the program and we can choose after printing, we want the program to save the job, delete the print data, delete the job completely, or delete the job after a certain amount of weeks. What we want to make sure we apply is the cost calculation module. This will allow us to see a price for our images based on the cost of ink that we are buying. Now under printer, we can go ahead and change the platen size. We have our large, our small, and our auxiliary platens for choosing. If we change the size of the platen, we'll see the height and width of our printable area will both change. We'll go ahead and change it over to medium since that seems to be the default for all printers. Under job, we won't want to make many changes to our presets as far as size. We want to change size depending on our specific image. On the other hand, our offset is the position that the image is going to be placed in. This can be automatic, so we can go ahead and set this to center. Our Y is the distance from the top of the platen and going down. So this will be the distance from our collar to our image. And this is a good standard for the industry from about one and a half to about two inches. I'm going to put one and a half. Now we can also use these extra tools. We can define a certain area that we want to crop the image. We can print free text. We can print registration marks. We can see our print information and we can also mirror the image output on our platen. Once these are set, we can jump over to color. Now for our color, we're only going to have two options right now, and that'll be black and white garment. We're going to go ahead and pick black for this preset. For our ink, there's only one choice. And for our meta mode, we're going to see three different options. Speed is going to be our fastest, doing four passes. Fine is our next fastest at eight passes. And our most detailed option is going to be super fine at 16 passes. Depending on your image and the complexity of your image, you'll want to choose one of these options. We're going to go ahead and pick super fine for this preset. From here, we can jump into the advanced settings. Under profiles, we can change the embedded 
input profiles for our colors. We can change the output profiles and we can turn on a saturation enhancement. Under print mode, we'll be able to change the print mode that we want to use. We could change it from unidirectional to bidirectional and back and forth. We can change our white print modes from bidirectional to unidirectional as well. And we can change settings for our special colors. This is going to come in handy when we set up our color mode. Under screens, we can change to error diffusion or speed screen. Under color correction, we can change the brightness, the contrast, and the gamma. And we can also change the input and output of each individual channel of color. And if we ever change these settings and we want to go back, we'll just hit default. And then under cost calculation, we'll be able to see custom droplet sizes. Anytime that our preset is modified, we'll see here a modified with an exclamation point. And to change this back to normal, we can just hit default. And we're going to just go ahead and jump over to rip. We want to make sure that we're using the document transparency. If our background does not have a transparency, we can use the remove background option. And the program will do its best to try and remove that background, whether it be black or white. But I would highly suggest doing that in a program like Photoshop, Illustrator, or even Corel Draw. Under job data, we can use this for our own personal use. Customer name, remarks. We can even add additional charges to be calculated per shirt with our cost calculation. Once this one's done, we can hit OK. From here, setting up the rest of the folders will be a piece of cake. We're going to go ahead hit the down arrow. We're going to hit black garment. We'll go ahead and set up our white. We're going to hit settings. Jump over to color. Hit white garment. Hit OK. And that white garment one is set up. We'll go again. Hot folders with black garment settings. We'll pick our color garment. From here, we can jump into the settings. And we're going to keep the black garment media, but we're going to jump into the advanced settings. From here, we're going to go under special colors and we're going to change this white brightness, black substrate. Our black substrate is knocking out the black out of our images. And we don't want that. We're going to change it to brightness. We're going to give it a minimum tolerance of 30. We're going to hit OK. Now what we can do is we can change this store to new MIM. We can rename this to color garment. Hit next. Hit finish. And there we have it. We have a color garment setting under super fine. And like that, our three hot folders are set up. We can hit OK. We can drop in an image. And there we have it. Three options that we can pick from. We can pick that garment. Once our preview loads, we can see this image is ready to print. I can grab this image, drop it into the print queue, and that's on its way. Once your image finishes ripping, it'll go ahead, send it over to the print queue and send it to the method that you chose to print. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to message onboarding at ricodtg.com. Other than that, you have a great day and happy printing.